All right, guys, welcome to episode 146 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, share with a friend, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. We got dog hoodies, we got fucking everything you need, okay? We got mugs, we got hats, whatever the fuck you want, let us know, and we'll get it done, all right? But we appreciate everybody. We're back with another one. It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. It's been nice weather out. You know what yeah. I mean? It's been good. It's been solid. It's been like nice 70s, a little bit like a little bit of a breeze, nothing too crazy. Like it's been all right. I like yeah, it. Man. But Saving a little bit on the electricity bill too, bro. Yeah, like 20 you know bucks. Right? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Altogether, like, it was like 50. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like 40, 50 bucks we saved, bro, which is good, bro. Like it, might, it don't seem like a lot to people, but 50 Time, bucks to go a long way Yeah 50 <laughs> bucks Times that fucking By like 20 years You know what I mean That's just a lot of money bro Nah for money. real It's a lot of bread man But you know what's also A lot of bread bro Is uh Having to come home To a burnt house Alright That sucks bro And it happens a lot During this time of year You know what I'm saying Like I don't know what it is People wanna leave the They wanna leave the Scent of candles going While they out and come home to, you know, the I'm house smelling like Cinnabons or whatever the fuck. I'm scared of that. Yeah, bro. Like, that's scary. But, that, I mean, that's why you got to get insurance on your house, too. But it still sucks. You ever leave your like, house, like, like fucking, like, man, did I leave the oven on? Fuck, did I leave the fucking stove on? Or, like, damn, I need to go back. And I'll go back. Because I do not want to come back to a fucking burnt-ass half of my house kitchen. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, nah, bro. Like, you can't just ignore certain things. If you got a gut feeling, bro, go back to the house. Yeah, that's how you know I feel, I mean? bro. Like, but so- it's like, it's just, to me, bro, I feel like people just ignore ignore certain things. Like, they'll get a real tree, the tree's super freaking dry, and then they just, like, have the lights running all night on it. And it's like, bro, turn it off when you go to sleep. I, I don't know. Like, I don't trust any of that, bro. I don't, I don't trust it, any of that at yeah, all. Yeah, it's man. real easy to burn your house down during the holidays for whatever reason, guys. So, guys, don't listen, leave. Don't leave your stove on. Don't leave anything on if you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? If you got to leave the house... Try not to leave stuff on, man. Because this it is. tis the season. It tis the season <laughs> tis, to come tis, home to your house burnt. <laughs> tis the season, bro, for your house to be crispy. <laughs> Straight right? up, bro. Nah, bro. But that, that's wild to me, man. Like, yeah, you're talking about Christmas trees, bro. Speaking of Christmas trees, I don't trust Christmas trees now. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, my whole family is all into fake now. It used to be all real. Yeah. Something must have happened. Must have been like a like Bro, a spider. Somebody must have, you know, what I'm saying, I, I, had a whole nest in their freaking <laughs> tree. You know what I mean? And snake. they woke up and there was like five birds in the house. Or something. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> What's that song? Oh, Christmas. <laughs> nah, there was another one. Uh, oh man. Two birds are singing. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're right in your tree. Five golden doves. <laughs> Fucking five doves That's in your house. That's not even how it goes, oh, guys. Know, but you know, forget it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? That's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. Yeah. The holidays, man. The holidays, man. The holidays, bro. It, it is the season, man. For real, for real. Like, and it got me thinking, bro. Like, I don't know why during the holidays is also the highest suicide rate of the year like for whatever reason Uh, and it got me to thinking it's like bro like if you knew like would you want to know the day that you go like Mm, it's like that movie with justin uh justin timberlake has like the little clock on top of your head never seen it but shout out to justin timberlake it's like yo you have a clock imagine i see your clock and you're like bro you got an hour left till you're gone bro (sighs) that's trash yo that's what'd you tell your boy what would you say everybody could see it you knew everybody could see it. you'd be like wow Oh, you can see it yourself yeah. too. <laughs> you, know, like, you see all the clocks on everybody's yeah, head. And you're like, man, trash. that makes you look at life differently. It would make you want to rush and do do things better yeah. instead of like sitting around and not doing. But it. But I feel like it could also be the opposite too, bro. That's why I ask because it's like I feel like it could also be like somebody sees that they have like only two years left, and then they're like, "What's the point?" You know what I mean? That's, I don't know. that's, 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 that's like, what's me, the though. point? That's not me, though. What's the point? No, nah, but it's like, yeah, I, I, I know, I know. You, you I would know? think, yeah, I, but, I would think like that in the beginning and be like, nah, nah, I need to do something. I need to, I only have like two years left. I got to do something. I have to leave something. Yeah, yeah. Because if not, bro, like, I got to, I don't know. It makes you think, man. Yeah, it's like, imagine how hard you would go. Imagine how hard you would go if you knew that you're like, yo, bro, I literally only have, like, it's, a, it's ticking, bro, and I only have like three years. <laughs> 
a hundred days and twelve hours and fifty two seconds. I've seen. <laughs> it's like damn. I bro. saw a documentary and the guy was like literally saying in the documentary, he's like, "Yo, like I have all you guys following me around everywhere, like everywhere. You know what I mean? You guys are seeing my life. That's how you're supposed to live your life." Yeah, bro. Like, like people are like documenting your life story, like what you're gonna do. Facts. It's like that guy that just passed away, uh, Virgil Abloh. Yeah. Like when he passed, bro, he passed away. He was 41 years old. Nobody knew what he was really going through. Like nobody knew he was dying. Like yeah. Like his his designer like companies like they put out a statement like on a Sunday morning like they were just like hey he was fighting he wanted y'all to know that he you know what I'm saying like they put out a statement and it's like what but it's like. That's, in my opinion, that's how I would want to go. Yeah, like people start treating you different. Yeah, they start treating you way different, bro. Like, you, they know you're dying and they come over, like, they come over your house and now they're sitting there looking at you funny in the face and shit. You're like, bro, don't make me feel weird about me dying, nigga. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> no, for real. It, yeah. It's like, bro, like. It's just it. like Black Panther, the same thing. Yeah, for real. Yeah. For real. There was a picture going around where they were standing together and it's like, yo, nobody knew they were both sick right there. Like yeah. it's it's deep, bro. Like that makes that's why you, you gotta think, like, yo, bro, be nicer to people because you don't know what they're really battling behind yeah. closed doors. You don't know if they're sick. You don't know if you don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we all gotta be, learn to be a little nicer, man. In yeah, because we're all assholes. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Straight up, you know. Yeah, it's true, bro. It's true. It is true. I, I mean, especially <laughs> when we don't get what we want. Facts. That's why you got to keep it real with yourself. You, you know, know what I'm saying? What? You got to keep it real with yourself. Yeah. And be like, you know what? I might be a piece of shite. It is what it I is. I might just... Ma- it, it's me, baby. It's me. It's not you. <laughs> nah, bro. Straight up. Yeah. Dead ass, bro. That's true. Very, very true, bro. Sometimes it's a reality check, too. It's like, ah. Like a slap to the face. You're like, oh, shit. This is why this happened. This is why that happened. Everything happens for a reason. Hey man, we say that a lot. Yeah. We say it a lot, but it's so freaking true. It's so true, and sometimes you say it to yourself, and you still don't know what the reason is. But yeah. life reveals it. <laughs> life yeah. reveals it you to you like, as you go. Two yeah. years later, you're like, "Oh wow, look at that crazy bitch! She just stabbed the nigga in the parking lot. I knew I shouldn't have been with her." When you know what I'm saying? When it's you like, say it, when you, <laughs> facts, real shit. Bro, bro I, I know some people <laughs> like that, bro. It's crazy, you know. You know what you always say to that's true is is a a blessing in disguise. Yeah, that, bro. That is some, I've been that is telling some, you lately, is, it's like, yo, bro, that that you're going through might just be a blessing in disguise, and they don't feel like it. A lot of times, they don't feel like it, especially when you're dealing with people that you really got love for and you care for and shit like that. But sometimes when something happens in life and it steers y'all different ways, bro, it might just be a blessing in disguise, bro. Like, yeah, you just don't up. know it, man. You think it's 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 the worst thing that could ever happen to you, or you know, it's it's just negative, but it ends up being a different outcome, and at the end, and you're just like. Wow, I see why. Like this, this is I can't imagine it going the other way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're just like, wow. Like now, now it makes sense. You, it's like a puzzle. You know, you put yeah. it together. Life reveals shit to you as you get older, bro. It's like an onion. There's many layers to life, bro. My you grandfather peel said it that. Back. You gotta keep peeling it back before you. You know what I'm saying? My like, grandfather would say that all the time, bro. Hey, rest, rest in peace. peace for rest in he, peace. he said that all the time. That's that's it's true, bro. Nah, it is. That's facts. That's facts. But that's why, bro. It's crazy to think about, like, love nowadays. Love be so fake, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people just show love or what they feel like you would perceive love to be just so that they could take advantage of you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, it's crazy to think about how most people are considered wonderful until they don't let somebody take advantage of them anymore. And then they're the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, he changed up. It's like, it's like well, good. <clears throat> he should change up because y'all were taking advantage of him. Yeah. It's like us you opening up. It's like us opening up a candy store, you know, and some people don't get paid till, till the next Friday or so. And then you let them freaking buy some candy. You see what I'm saying? And then you do that and you do it, but you do it out of love. Right. But then they just take advantage of the situation. Be like, you know, he's going to say yes, man. You know, he got me. Right. You know, and then the one day that you say no is just like, oh, wow. Like, well, I'm just not going to go to your candy store anymore. Facts. I'm going to go to the one across the street. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of things that people do nowadays. And it's like, yo, that's I didn't have to let you. You know what I mean? I didn't have to, like, fucking sit here in front of your ass. You know what I mean? On the candy. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have to do that from the jump. I did it out of love. And people just like, oh, like, people don't look at it like that. People only people only look at things from their perspective and their ways. You got to look at both. You yeah. got to be under, it's a balance. You got to understand the fact of why they did that. 
And you got to understand the fact that why I'm mad about the situation. You have to like, and it's, it's both. You got to, you know, but people don't look at it like that, bro. People just think about themselves and that's it. If it doesn't benefit them, then that's it. That's a fact. That's a fact. And it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, but listen, man, just don't let people, don't let nobody take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know when it's happening. Like, you feel it where it's like, oh, okay, y'all only want me around for this. Or, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, you only want to keep in contact for this. And it's like, it's cool, bro, but don't let nobody take advantage of you. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 uh, like fucking Kanye said on that one song, you know what I'm saying? 50 told me, go ahead, switch your style up. And if they hate, then let them hang, watch the money pile up. Straight up. Yeah. Switch your style up, nigga. Start fucking treating people the same way they treat you and see how close, how long that relationship lasts. Yeah. Real talk. If you have a relationship based on, like, only what you could do for that person, cut that shit off. And the next time they need a favor, you can't do it. Exactly. And see how fucking far that shit lasts. Or ask them for a fucking favor. Yeah. Like, yo, I've let you borrow this much bread, bro. Like, let me hold something right now. I'm hurting right now. Yeah. And even if you're not, just to see what the fuck the response is. Yep. You might not even get a response. That's how niggas be, bro. And it's like, bro, it's like, it's cool, bro. But yeah, I just don't don't I, let people take advantage. It's of you. That's always, the main point. It's always when like, you know, you're not you're not stag you're not stagnant. You know, you're not in the and you're not in the same spot. You know, it's always when like, wow, this guy he's switching up. He's wow. He's doing good. He's doing what he said he was going to do. And some people just don't like that. You know, they take offense. They want you to stay struggling. They want you to sit here and, and struggle and work overtime and overtime and, and hurt and hurt your fucking back and do all that shit. Like, they don't. It's just people, man. And it's weird. And it might not be exactly that. They might just feel like they deserve it more than you for whatever reason. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, like they don't deserve that. Like, what? What the fuck? Like, I deserve it. I've worked harder. Whatever the, whatever the, is in their head. And it's like, what's for you is for you, bro. What's for you is for you. There's people that have never had to lift a finger in their life, bro. And they're billionaires. And unfortunately, there's people that have worked their whole fucking life. And they die broke. It's unfortunate. Life is not fair, bro. But you can't hate somebody else because of what's just not for you. Yeah Like that's some bitch nigga shit Like In my opinion I feel like everybody gets Like an Escobar season Yeah You, you either me? take advantage of it Or you don't though. Yeah And nigga Most people be scared bro To take advantage of a situation It, it just The way with that They're raised Or their environment Or people in their ear It makes them think Like it's so unattainable And sometimes all you gotta do Is make that one little step Yeah You know what I'm saying It's like yeah, bro. That's how the people that on Bitcoin came up. There was people that when it first dropped, they were like, you know what? I'm going to just put 500 in here. And people were like, why would you do oh, do that, bro? You could go do this and do that and do the other thing and do that in the third. And now they're up fucking 50 million. Yeah. And now you want to go ask for advice. Yeah. When they didn't fucking told you seven years ago, yo, bro, just take a risk. Do this. Just try it. See what happens. It might not work. It might work. But try it. Yeah. That's all you could do, bro. Just try it. You take mm -hmm. L's, man. You got to take a lot of L's in life, bro. There's way more more losses than wins, but people only look at your wins. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, it's yeah. like it's it's a uh, it's just, it's a weird world that we live in, man. It really is. No one wants to help out. No one wants to fucking sit here and support. You know, people act like way different when after you die. You know what I mean? And you it's know, just but like, that's guilt. That's that's looking back. And realizing, like, damn, I was a piece of shit to this person. And maybe I should have done this. I should have, would have, could have asked, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't don't worry about it now, brother. Dead and gone. You didn't show them that love when they were here. You didn't show them the support while, while they were here, bro. Don't do it after they're gone. Keep yeah. The, keep the same attitude, but bro. But people, like, I noticed there's some people that I know that, like, they're they're always negative. They're always down. They're always sad. You know? And I... And, I got tired of it. I was like, yo, like, I just can't do it anymore. So when I go, when I go near you, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be happy and show you emotion and all this stuff. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be at the same level as you. Yeah. Because, it's just vibrations, bro. Because why? You're just going to suck the happiness right out of me. 
and kill my battery and kill my fucking life. You see what I'm saying? Like, I got a battery life in the back. Like, there's only so much battery that we have yeah, for the day. Yeah, bro. And some people don't understand. Like, <clears throat> bro, most people don't need a lot. Like, just telling somebody, yo, bro, I believe in you. You could do it, bro. Sometimes that's all a person really fucking wants to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't want to sit here and get a fucking lecture. They're, like, they're not looking for you to fucking come out of pocket $20,000. They're looking for you to really show a genuine, like, yo, bro, I really believe in you. I think you could really do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Like, something that simple, bro. People don't forget. That there's there's been you know what I'm saying stars that they make it bro they were they they came up from nothing bro and then they go back and help out the people that really believed bro just because they believed you know what I mean like but it's listen man at the end of the day we can't sit here and fucking cry about it it is what it is people are either gonna support or they're not and it's cool it's fucking cool yeah you gotta show just show love man show love back you know. You know, if people yeah. show you, if people show love to you, show it back, man. You know what I mean? Like that's just what it is. And if they but don't show love, then don't show love. My toxic trait is that I show love regardless. You know what I mean? That's my toxic trait. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I keep showing love and keep showing love, and and I don't get it in return. It's kind of like a doggy mentality, like DMX said. You know, you could treat a dog bad, horrible, horrible, but that dog's still gonna love you. Yeah, facts. That dog. Bro, still gonna we've come, all you know? been through that shit, and I want you know. In one way or another, bro, I've I've felt the same way in plenty of situations where it's like, damn, bro, like, you know what I mean? I've showed love, I've I've showed up plenty of fucking times, and it's like a nigga birthday come around and yeah, nothing, yeah, not even a phone nothing. call, not even a text, not even a fucking text. And it's like, damn, bro, like, you know what I mean? It, it's just like, all right, cool. So the same shit, it goes back to not showing love to people who don't show love to you. Yeah. Or the first time you say no, you know, they've left you hanging for, and, it, and it, the thing is, it's like, if it happens once, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But if it happens like two, three times in a fucking row, now it's just a choice, bro. Like you're choosing to disrespect somebody that cares about you over and over and over again. Yeah. So now when they start showing the same disrespect, you can't sit here and take it personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're literally like, getting spoon fed your own fucking medicine. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like And it's like, yo, don't sit here and be like, man, I haven't seen you in two weeks. I haven't seen you in two weeks. You know, and then you pull up and then it's like, why are you here? Why are you here? Or like, you know, you feel some type of way. It's not it's it's weird, bro. People are so weird. Why like it just doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? Like people are very, very weird and very fake with certain things. It's like don't don't say that if you don't mean it. You know what I mean? Don't sit here and try to act like, oh, like you want me here and all. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it real, guys. Like, if you don't want to hang out, you don't want to see me, let's just keep it known. Bro, I feel like a lot you of know? people are sensitive nowadays, and it's like, everybody ain't that sensitive. Yeah. Like, off camera, when I was telling you earlier, it's like, bro, I have no problem not being somebody's friend. Yeah. Like, we don't have to be all this friend. Oh, come hang out. Oh, let's do this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> bro, we don't have to be that if it's not that, bro. Yep. Like, there's no fucking problem with me, bro. Just being like, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? I know him. You know what I mean? But are we, like, friendly, friendly, best friends like that? No. You know, like, we we know each other. We're cool. We show up somewhere. It's going to be, yo, what's up? How you been, bro? Everything good? How's the family? Cool. Like, but beyond that, it's like, bro, if that's, like, let's just, like, stop acting with people, bro. Because yeah. some people really fucking care. Yeah. And then when those people that really care, bro, aren't there no more, bro, and then you start realizing the, sh the shitty people you're fucking left with, then you're like, damn, bro, like, like I, maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of that person. Maybe I shouldn't have fucking taken them for granted. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Don't take your people for granted, bro, because like you just said earlier, like, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? You get certain love after you die, but it's guilt, bro. Niggas feel so guilty about it. Or if it takes you this long to, you know... It takes you this amount of time or like you're in your deathbed or you know what I mean? And and, and you want to stay here and then give somebody their flowers and shit and be like, yo, like, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You should have been saying this, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I appreciate you. Like, just say it. It's not that and hard. And show it. Yeah. And show it, bro. Like, I've said it a hundred million times, bro. Actions speak louder than words, bro. Like, somebody could tell you they love you, bro, and go fuck your bitch behind your back and go steal money out your wallet when you ain't looking and do this and do that. But they telling you they love you. Fuck that. Actions, nigga. Yeah. Actions, bro. Period. Like, actions is with speech. You know what I'm saying? If you care about somebody, you're going you're gonna to show it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And caring about somebody is, is showing that love when they're not even in the fucking room. 
you know, behind their back at all times. Yeah, exactly. Because you know there's a lot of people that be fake like that too, where they're laughing with you. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. And then they go fucking make fun of you behind your back with the other nigga, with the barber and this and that and whatever the fuck. And it's like, bro, like, yeah, no. Nah. Like niggas just be fake as like fuck. Like people bro. be like, yeah, there was there was a a time where recently I was at my family's house and one of my cousins was just like, ah, oh, that dude too. You know, he's a funny ass dude. He's weird, you know. And I was just like, bro, that's my that's my dog. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know him like I know him. You know what I mean? That's my dog. Like, and some people don't do that. You're not even in the building. You don't even know the conversation was even held Facts. about you. And I'm out here like, nah, like, that's my dog. Like, that's my right hand man. Nah. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's how, how that you got to go. That's you know? how that shit go But that's the loyalty that you need to have. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, a lot of niggas don't have that loyalty, bro. And it's like, going back to the same shit. Don't show love to people that don't show love to you, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, be real with yourself, bro. Fuck what people say. Fuck what people think. Because that shit don't pay your bills. People don't be in your shoes. Nigga, a lot of people like to talk shit, bro. But it's like, bro, the person that you're talking shit about, you couldn't walk a fucking day in their shoes, bro. Yeah, there's a Straight lot of people like up. that, you know? It's like, nigga, like you, you live the, di- you know what I'm saying? It's different, bro. It's different. People have different reasons. Like, well, like I said earlier, people have different reasons for, for what they do. You know what I'm saying? Some people do certain things because they think it's cool. They think it's the right, like the lifestyle they want to live. Other people don't have no choices, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it just that's just the way life goes, bro. Like you just gotta fucking play the cards that you're dealt. Keep your poker face on, bro. And listen, keep going for it. Fuck what anybody says. Fuck what anybody thinks, bro. Keep going for it. Straight the fuck up. Straight the fuck. That's up. That's what you gotta do, bro. Dead ass because. I always say we're gonna stop cursing. We keep freaking cursing. Sorry, guys. Hey, man. It's, a, it's <laughs> bad nah, habits. We all to, got them. We're about to get on Patreon, guys, pretty soon. I know we keep mentioning it to you guys. Um, pretty excited. You know, yeah, that's gonna be a new chapter. It's bro, gonna be bro. lit. It's gonna be lit. All right. We're gonna be freaking popping bottles. I might bring a stripper on the show. Who knows? Yeah, facts. Nah, like, it's gonna nah. be lit, man. It's gonna be a different show than 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 over here, bro. Like, it's definitely gonna be lit. We're gonna have some different opinions, you know. Our oh, third, we're gonna let it yeah, go. Our third we're mic, let it go. Our third mic is on the way here. I'm about to order it today, so you know we'll be here in maybe a week or so. You know, the same one of these, like one of these mics. Word, right here. Man. Yeah, so we'll facts. be chilling. We're gonna be working this. Appreciate next year, the merch man. because you know we're we're buying that with the merch money, guys. You know, so we're taking the we're taking yeah. our profits from the business and Facts. we're reinvesting it, man, and that's very smart, applause, bro. Like that's how so, you gotta do it. We yeah. didn't fucking sit here and take the money and yeah. go to the fucking strip club. All right, we didn't throw the three hundred dollars in there. And <laughs> we say, took the three hundred. We're getting another mic for the for the show, guys. So we appreciate every single last one of you that bought something and showed love. You know what I'm saying? Because without y'all, we wouldn't be able to keep the podcast growing. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Seriously. Straight up. Seriously, man. So, um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. I hope everybody has a positive, positive week. Um, you know, do something nice for somebody, man. You know what I mean? For no reason. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Like Nike. All right. But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch, and stay on the lookout for that Patreon page. All right. Peace and love. Tell somebody you love them. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace, 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 peace.